Hey, welcome back to Mailer's Landing. We're gonna cook a meatloaf tonight. I was talking with my mom the other day about meatloafs and everybody's got their own favorite recipe to do and you know, hers is a sweet and sour, mine is usually a, a more savory kind of pepper and onion sort of thing. But it got me thinking, you can make a meatloaf in like a million kind of ways. As we were talking, my mom and I, I thought about the very best dumpling I have ever had. And I started to wonder, can I turn it into a meatloaf? Wanna fuss about and find out? Come on along, let's see if it comes out great or if we're ordering pizza tonight. We're gonna do a chicken meatloaf today. The chicken is fairly soft, um, so we are definitely gonna be adding some breadcrumbs as well. And let's get to it. So I'm starting with a pound of ground chicken. And I'm only gonna gently salt this, just a tiny bit of kosher salt on the top. And you'll see with the other ingredients that really we don't need to add any more than that. All right, to that we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of white pepper and a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And then Yep, that's Xiaoqing wine. We're gonna add one tablespoon of that, as well as one tablespoon of sesame oil. I will pop the recipe down in the description for you. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of grated ginger. Four cloves of finely minced garlic. Two green onions. And I've just sliced them into thin rounds. Then, for texture, we're gonna add two things. We're gonna add um, almost a whole can of diced finely diced water chestnuts. They were left over in the fridge and my superpower is leftovers, so we're running with that. And then about a half cup's worth of bok choy leaves. One cup of panko. One egg. and one teaspoon of shiro miso. So between the shiro miso and the soy sauce, we don't need any more salt. It's gonna be plenty salty just as it is. And we're just gonna mix all of this up. I got the miso in with the egg so that we can make sure it gets distributed. Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm getting my hands in here. So while I'm setting all of this up, I've got the oven preheating to 400 degrees and I have a loaf pan ready for us. Okay, I can't see the miso in here anymore. I'm hoping it got really mixed up well with that egg because nobody wants to take a big bite of shiro miso paste. Think good thoughts. That smells super good. It smells like a really good dumpling. All right. That, my friend, is promising. So we've mixed it all up. And it looks like that. Okay. Here's our loaf pan. Sit 
So there's our chicken loaf in the pan. If this was the meatloaf that I make usually, I would be uh, frosting it with just a touch of ketchup. Instead, for this recipe, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a little bit of hoisin sauce. Maybe a tablespoon. Oh, no, that's not gonna cut it, is it? We're gonna add a couple tablespoons of hoisin sauce. That should go nicely with the gingery, garlicky flavor of this meatloaf. But honestly, who am I fooling? I've never made this before. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but that applies to so many things in my life, so I'm kind of comfortable with that. There we have it. All right, so we have added a little bit of hoisin sauce onto the top. Now we're gonna put the tin foil on. And what I like to do is provide it a little vent. So you can see I've left it open on one side. We're gonna pop it into the oven. At the end of 45 minutes in the oven at 400 degrees, I'm gonna take the foil off and let it go for another 10 to 15 minutes. We don't wanna burn that hoisin sauce and I don't know what its top temperature is like. So we're just gonna to have to keep a really close eye on it. But for now, into the oven she goes. I'm thinking good thoughts. It smells really, really good. It's got a bunch of ingredients that I trust to love each other and behave nicely in the dish. So think good thoughts with me because, man, I love a dumpling. And if I can turn that into a meatloaf, I'm all in. So we're going to make some rice. I've got my rice cooker going behind me. My rice maker's a little old, so I'm going to check it before it beeps uh, to make sure that I haven't burnt the rice to the bottom. <laughs> got a pretty good rhythm with that machine at this point. I think it's been around here for 10 years or something. Um, I've got some broccoli chopped up in the pot on a steamer rack, and it's going to be ready to go in our last 15 minutes, and I'm hoping it complements this meatloaf. So I'll see you in a little bit and we'll find out how it went. This looks really good. Let me bring you over so you can see what's going on here. So our meatloaf is looking good. It's nice and brown. We're going to give it another 10-15 minutes here with the foil off and it looks looks like it is liquid enough that we're not going to burn the top on this. Okay, so the meatloaf is going to go for another 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on it, make sure that that hoisin doesn't burn. The rice is all cooked, and I'm going to put the broccoli up in just a moment. So in about 15 minutes, we should have a really nice meal. Okay, the timer has gone off, so let's get her out of the oven and see what's going on. got the meatloaf out of the oven and oh my goodness look at that beauty all right we're gonna slice into it and give her a taste test Oh, hey. Oh, hey, that looks good. So we're, we're playing with stupid camera height tricks again, cause you know, <laughs> I, I don't even know how to do this anymore. I'm just here to taste things. I think we should taste things. So we, we have our meatloaf. All right, get it, get it. All right, let's see. I think I did it. Can't talk eating. I think I did it. We got an awesome dumpling meatloaf. Oh, it's so good. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The topping is perfect. <laughs> mm. I was so worried about the top on that, too. Oh. Oh, awesome. Even the bottom tastes good without the, the hoisin. Mm-hmm. It's salty enough. Yeah, can we have dinner now? I made the rest of it. I think we should uh, summon the child. Eat. We I'll should... go get the boy. All right, let's do it. So thank you for joining us. I'll pop the recipe down below in the description. And I hope you enjoyed as much as we do. See you soon. Take care.